to get in. I think Coach said that kind of built up to the week. Like how much was it like a normal week or was it kind of limited? Yeah, so far it was more of a normal week, and it was so far more of a, something to be able to you know just see where I was gonna be able to be. I didn't want to just throw me in there, but so far it was just more of a normal schedule and just being able to uh, play and. I was, you know, doing all like the things that most of the other players would do during practice. Did the injury, did, you, did the injury you, you had, so it was suffered against Florida State, right? Yes, sir. Okay. For you just being back out there, I guess the offense kind of, I guess, lacked that deep ball that you guys were used to during earlier in the season. I guess what, what kind of happened? Like, what was Louisville kind of doing? I guess to kind of derail, derail that, that day. Uh, I mean, I feel like during the other games, I guess they through deep pretty well. I mean, considering that versus Wake Forest, I mean, I think they, from what I saw, they were able to, you know, complete those passes and same versus um, Virginia. But I just felt like, you know, when I came back, nothing much changed. You know, we just had that another receiver added. So being able to have more stamina, more depth to roll around, it just helped us being able to, you know, push the field better. Yeah, it's definitely been tense. You know, a bunch of a bunch of people. You know, having a type of little edge to them this week, knowing that you know we felt like we were a better team. We felt like there were a lot of things that we made mistakes on, and we know that we are a lot better than what we showed out. And knowing that you know we can't do anything to really control if we make it to the playoffs or not, but we know that we you just got to be able to finish like how we did last year, how they did last year, you know, just being able to go out there and know that we can finish and, you know, playing to the best that we can. So that's what really we've really been focusing on this week, and that's what, you know, you can tell everybody's thinking about. Basically, the receivers handle the blocking. I don't think on the perimeter. I wouldn't say we were perfect, but I felt like we were pretty good, you know, having – a few explosive plays here and there from the run-ins and knowing that, you know, we've really been working on blocking this week and like every other week, but just making sure that, you know, just like how we can be effective in the pass game, I felt like we were pretty effective in the run game with blocking too. There were a lot of drops on Saturday. I get, I know, I guess for you, how do you guys kind of, I guess, diminish that moving forward, uh, diminish that moving forward with the drops? Yeah, definitely just, you know, focusing on you know, little eyes focusing on the ball, not looking away from it, you know, just being focused on that one thing. And I guess just working ball drills throughout the week and actually taking that to game. Because, you know, during practice, you're always focused on, you know, looking the ball in. But when you get to the game, you can kind of, you know, just forget about that little detail and it can show up. So just making sure that we take what goes on in practice into the game. Looking back on it, what was different about the fourth quarter where you guys were able to kind of get moving again offensively and finish drives? What was different about the fourth quarter as opposed to the first three? Yeah, I just felt like we, you know, started actually, you know, using some tempo, started, you know, defense wasn't really getting set. They were playing more off, playing more, you know, cushion. So we were able to, you know, get those short passes, give it what they take us or take what they give us and just, you know, push the field on them. Did that help in terms of, like, the offense's confidence? Obviously, not scoring as much as you want in the first three quarters, but then kind of showing yourselves that we can do this, that, you know, we're only stopping ourselves. So sort of what kind of was the feeling after that? Yeah, we were definitely stopping ourselves that first, first portion of the game. And I think that, you know, going to that end game, being able to push the field, it raises confidence, but it also, you know, it doesn't really matter if we raise confidence if we don't win the game, but I know that, you know, the way that we push that field during the fourth quarter, that's what we know that we can do throughout any game that we play. It's just a matter of if we focus on those details and if we actually play the way that we've been practicing. What was Garrett Riley's uh, message to you guys after the game? Are you just heading into this week with looking forward towards you know, playoff chances? You just, uh, how are you guys feeling? Yeah, basically, you know, like Coach Sweeney said, we can't control what we do for the playoffs, so we just got to, you know, be able to finish this week out. And so Coach Riley, he was just stressing, you know, focus on those key details that we do, you know, focus on that offense that we were showing out for the past 
six games and showing for, you know, one bad game can't, you know, affect the rest of our season. And we got to be able to kick it back up and kick that offense back up and just move on to the next game and just being able to take this practice, make sure that we take the mistakes from last week, make sure they don't happen again. And um, just, yeah, really focus on making sure that we can finish. What's it been like to see just kind of how razor thin that margin is at this level of college football? One more time. What's it been like to see how razor thin that margin is of like a good game versus a bad game and things going your guys' way? I'm just looking at it as you're a freshman in the college game for the first time. Just, just what's it been like to kind of see just how close all these games really are when you're playing in them? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's crazy because I feel like, you know, our offense, we really had, I think we had more yards than Louisville. So, and those few plays that Louisville kind of had those big explosive plays, it was just like one guy being like an inch off on his assignment or, you know, just not filling the right gap in our offense is just, you know, not catching the ball for like one first down. And then I could really shift the momentum of the entire game. And so it's really like crazy to see how one little mistake or one little play can affect the entire game or even the entire season that you're having. Cade said um, post game that if the game is Louisville kind of has some similar similarities with the game against Georgia. Did you kind of see some of those same things? Yeah, I feel like that would be very similar because more like against Georgia, you know, we really beat ourselves going into that, you know, first half. Didn't really push the field because we were more like making those mental mistakes. And then that's the same with Louisville. You know, we went into that first half, couldn't really do anything. We weren't really. I feel like we had one good drive first half, and that was really like what we could have been doing the entire game. But we were just, you know, weren't dedicated to pushing the stuff that we've been doing in practice. And though, so we just got to work on that, and I guess just make sure that you know those Louisville and Georgia games don't happen. Is there anything that you have been working on specifically heading into Virginia Tech based off of the things that you've seen from their secondary or defense for the film? Or there's things that, you know, Riley or any of your have kind of pointed out to them? Yeah, so, I mean, their DBs that they got in number 44 number 4, you know, they're very good athletes. So I think that they are very good run fitters. They, you know, can go make a tackle. So I feel like, you know, blocking is one of the key things that I've been trying to work on, making sure that I'm, you know, polished on that. And just, I feel like making, making those one-on-one -on -one plays, making those one-on-one -on -one, um, matchups, winning those, and yeah. Any other questions? How important do you think, like the impact of explosive plays for for offense has been really key for this season? Because you look back at games after Georgia, you played App State, and it was just like big play after big play. You know, you look back at the there's kind of lack of those. Do you think does that kind of plays a part in success from the season? Yeah, I feel like, you know, big plays create big momentums for offensive teams. So if you're like constantly creating big plays, constantly having a momentum, and it can also carry over to the defense, you know, if the defense stops those big plays, it also carries momentum to that. So I, yeah, I feel like we didn't get those big plays started had, didn't have as many big plays as we wanted to, so it was definitely going to be able to affect the game, not in a good way for us. Anything else? Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.